Welcome, welcome. We are in Bozeman, Montana today. Uh, my name is Justin. This is Mika over here. Welcome to our stream. Go straight on. Figured I'd start a channel and start showing off some of the cool stuff that I do. Um, in my bus. This is my 2001 oh, International 3800. Uh, it's got a T444E. Uh, sorry, I can't turn and talk, I guess. I'm gonna have to work on that in the future. But, uh, yeah, this is my school bus, my schoolie. Oh, I have uh, been working on it since 2019. Um, been an absolute blast it's been a whole bunch of whoa my bad good thing I'm not loaded bunch of trials of ups and downs and mistakes and learning experiences and everything else under the Sun that you could think of um, but one of the things that I've liked to do is drive big trucks inside my school bus <laughs> so I figured I would start a channel now that I have a lot of the equipment to do that sort of thing and kind of have it figured out to the point where I might be able to start uh, showing everybody else what I do in the bus. So go straight on. Today we're driving uh, John Ruda's mod the Freight Shaker Classic, the Freightliner FL Classic, FLC. Um, it is powered by a CAT 3126B model, which sounds phenomenal, especially through, I have a uh, full surround sound set up in the bus, I've got speakers in the walls, subwoofer under the couch, you know, regular woofer on the couch, but, uh, oh. is that a Countach, Countach, Lamborghini? Oh yeah, he took off from that light pretty right. quick, didn't he? Then turn right. Oh, missing gears. Turn right. Oh boy. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my setup. Um, about what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we're gonna drive some big trucks, we're gonna fly planes. Um, might have some other videos of, do I turn here? Do I turn up there? It looks like I'm turning in here. Yeah, we're going to waste management. Um, guess I could use my turn signal. Sorry, people behind me. I'm gonna talk about the mods that I have in the game. Uh, how I play the game, what I like to do. Um, I'm gonna play a what bunch a nice of different ride. games. I, I like a lot of different stuff. Uh, maybe some 5M. Should have some uh, flight simulator stuff in there. Um, how I build the, the whole setup out in the bus and how I make things work here. Um, eventually I'd like to do a bus tour. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm just gonna be all over the place, but thought it might be something that some of you might like to see and come along for. So today we're going to be picking up a pair of Smith dump bodies weighing almost 50,000 pounds and taking them from Bozeman to Lewistown, Montana. Not too, too long of a run, but something to kind of start out with and uh, see how quality ends up and what I need to change in a stream and how uploading goes and, you know, like our trailers right here go ahead and back into that and then I'll show you do a little walk around to the truck and tell you why I built this truck gonna put my window down there both of them forward a little bit make sure we're locked 
plugged in. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the truck. Walk around here. This is Dro Modding's 53 foot trailer. Um, with Ruta's freight shaker. Some Smith dump bodies on there. I actually modeled this truck after a friend of mine's freight liner that uh, he drives. It also has a 3126B in it, but his is a 13 speed. So, a little bit different. Or, it might be a 10 speed. I'm not sure, I'd have to ask him. But, now that we're locked in, pull forward and, uh, oh, miss second gear, you know, the usual. But, we're gonna see how recording in VR goes, and, uh, I know it's not something that everybody likes to do, especially with a game that's not necessarily designed for it, but what I'm seeing is uh, pretty well put together, and I'm very happy with how my setup's running at this point, so I'd like to talk a bit about it and get a little bit more comfortable talking so much. But for a second, I'm gonna shut up so we can hear this thing sing. I know it's pouring out, um, but weather-wise, it's actually pretty nice. We have, um, hey, K5 Blazer, nice. And guy in the R8 with his top down in the rain. Go figure. And a square body, too. Oh, man. See, what we're seeing all around us right here is, oh, green light. We're seeing uh, Jazzy Cat's traffic mod and uh, classic car mods, and me missing second again. looking blazer there sir I am going to put my windows up here since it's raining pretty hard oh man yeah this is a uh, jazzy cats AI traffic uh, we also have his motorcycle mod his classic car mod his truck traffic mods um, and Traffic Maniacs, um, I'm gonna get second at some point today. Traffic Maniacs, uh, sports car traffic mod in here as well. Keep left, then turn left. Uh, turn signal there. At this point, I'm pretty excited to get out of Bozeman here. Had some issues getting started, ended up circling around here for a little bit, and it was just a bit of a pain, so pretty excited to get out of here at this point. <laughs> And please, um, I'm not expecting a lot from my first video or anything like that. There's second. But whoever does happen to watch, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, the things that everybody says. But at the same time, uh, let me know audio-wise, uh, visual-wise, what all I can do, uh, Mercedes guys, whatever I can do for quality to try to make this more enjoyable for everybody. Um, I can't necessarily mess with music, I know that the copyright stuff's pretty, uh, oh, turn signal still on, uh, copyright stuff's pretty specific with YouTube, but, um, I'm going to uh, maybe have some CB chatter in the background. I uh, could try that for a little bit. Um, maybe not this stream because I'm going to be talking a lot. Uh, apologies. But uh, 
we'll see how it goes. Um, got this guy slowing down quite a bit. Oh my goodness, sir, why are you slowing down so much? Ah! Sir! I get it, there's an accident scene way up there, but you, duh. The magic of this game sometimes, it really likes to keep you on your toes. Sometimes people just slam on the brakes for no reason, and that can be a lot, especially when you got a little bit of weight behind you. But. an accident is a construction road work ahead okay so this might be a good time to show off um, I do use Daniel's random events mod thanks for moving over for me bud I'm always adding and taking away mods that either work or give me issues and things like that but I've had the game running pretty well for a while now so figured that was why it was time to finally make a channel and show other people hey Caprice is actually one of those sitting outside right now right in front of the bus um, an old police car that a friend of mine bought um, and I actually I have a police car as well so I have an old Crown Victoria had quite a few of those cars now. Oh boy, oh, we're stopping. Ah, oh, missed the gear. Oh, this is not a good start to things. I'm having some problems. Especially because that's my exit. And everybody's detouring. Oh, it wasn't a crash. <laughs> We had a little bit of a freeze there, but it seems like the game worked through it, so... Well, we'll see how much this detour adds, but... That guy had to flip it. Uh, guy had to flip over on my exit there. Unbelievable. Danger Ranger! I'm gonna talk about a lot more of that kind of stuff. Not Danger Rangers, maybe that too. But uh, a lot of my friends are into automotive things and uh, we do a lot of pretty unique stuff with cars that a lot of people wouldn't expect. So I myself, I've had like 130 some cars and different vehicles at this point. Um, right now I have the bus that I'm in right now. Um, I have the police car and an ambulance, which I just think is hilarious and feel like I should buy a fire truck at this point, but um, kind of all over the place with what I like. Um, I had a bunch of different police cars, um, but the ambulance and the bus I've held on to for quite a while now. Really? I don't know what is going on. So we had a bit of a detour there, a couple issues and things like that, but it seems we're back on the road. Yeah, as I was saying, a lot of my friends are into the automotive side of things, and I have been for a long time. And it's everything from off-roading to, to racing to drag racing to uh, big trucking and buggies and uh, we're, we're just all over the place so you might see some of that on the channel um, just kind of getting into what you can expect um, and a lot of that you'll see in the games that I play too um, Montana Mill Oh, that's cool down there, isn't it? I kind of bounce around all over the place, and when I'm driving here, that's sort of one of the things that I need to fix and adjust to, is I'm a very big fan of looking at everything all around me, moving my head a lot, and while I play in VR, I realize that that can be taxing for the people that are watching, so 
have to think about it and be more conscious about not moving to look at every little thing that catches my eye in this game, which is hard. Like that. There's the Yellowstone River. There's guys fishing down there. I'm trying not to rear end this Volvo in front of us. There's the whole thing. I'm always checking my mirrors and kind of looking at what's around me and I feel like that's part of the magic of playing in VR, especially in a game like this, but at the same time, it doesn't make for a pleasant viewing experience for you guys and I'm gonna work on that. Now I can't stop thinking about it and I'm just gonna hold my head still the entire time, so that's cool. <laughs> Laurel and Red Lodge. Got a KOC and an Exxon off this exit. I'm a little bit hungry, but I think we can wait on that since we're already running pretty late for our customers up there. servo base, um, the TLCM pedal set, um, the TH8A shifter with an extension and knob from Amazon, while the adapter for what is actually the bus wheel is off of ATS accessories. The handbrake over here does not work for truck sim, but I do use it for a Soto Corsa and Dirt and a few other games like that. BMNG Drive. Um, whoops. Wrong turn signal there. I definitely need a turn signal set from ATS Accessories at some point soon here, that's for certain. off and uh, starting low to come up this hill here. cannot get over these Project Next Gen graphics though. Um, the wet roads, um, the weather itself, uh, the skyboxes, 
reflections, everything like that. He just, he does an absolutely phenomenal job with everything that he does for this game. Looks like I'm gonna need to be up in that right lane here. Think we can beat this guy? Freightliner versus a Pete. Might be able to beat him, but I'm gonna have to cut him off and be that jerk to make our turn. And then maybe rear end this Impala. Oh god. Oh, we stopped. Whew. That was close. <laughs> it's one of those things I guess you can do in the game that you definitely can't do in real life. Oh, there's people skating over there in that skate park. Look at that. Very cool, very cool. Aw oh, man, that guy would be cussing me out from behind me, that's for certain. I thought that we were gonna get a break with the rain, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna let up here. Also running the HF8 haptic pad behind me uh, and underneath of me. It kind of gives me the feel of the road and vibrations and everything like that. But a lot of what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to move this entire setup up to the driver's seat of the bus. Um, that's the goal here soon. Um, my computer's actually back in the kitchen of the bus, um, a good distance away, but. I have all of the cables, which are fiber optic and powered cables for the USB hub and everything like that run underneath of the bus up into this cabinet um, so that I can plug everything up here. Lots of supercars. Um, I do like the, tra the uh, Traffic Maniac uh, supercar mod, but I feel like they do show up a lot more frequently than I would like them to, unfortunately. It might be something that I look into changing in the future. Looks like they're having a carnival. It's a shame it's kind of getting rained out today. And we're back. I just wanted to take a quick photo for for a thumbnail there. Thought that, that might be a cool idea. Right in front of the fair, and I managed to, you know, not really get the fair in it at all. But we got to see the truck, and I guess that's what matters. So. So does mix missing uh, six low there, so. Go straight on. Oof. Good first stream where I'm missing a lot of gears. You really get the feeling for how easy it is to mess up in this game. There's a car up in front of there. You can kind of see him. Nope, you can't. He's up there, though, I swear. Yeah, we will see how this goes. I mean majority of the time I'm playing this game anyways, so if I upload it and people actually care to watch it, that'll be pretty cool. If not, at least I'll have a cool archive of, archive, archive of all my mi 
missed gears, typos, you know, misspeaks, fumbles and stumbles and all the fun stuff like that. But like I said, we're going to see what all we can fit in the one cool channel because at least on my end, a lot of what I do is very interesting to a lot of people between the bus stuff, um, what my friends do with racing and you know where they're at in their lives um keep left then turn left there's definitely no shortage of interesting things and it seems like almost every day there's something new and wild going on turn so friend of mine, uh, Zach, he actually just bought a bus as well. Um, pretty bad influence on him. But uh, going to be starting on that, and that's the 10th bus that I've gotten to, well, bus and tiny home and things like that, that I've gotten to be a part of so far. So I'm pretty excited to start that and see where it goes. And uh, this one will be getting a roof raise and slide outs and some pretty serious fabrication work because he is into bouncers and buggies and rock crawlers and things like that and he wants to be able to take his buggy in the back of the bus where the bedroom's going to be so almost like a toy hauler kind of thing but uh, whereas mine's a little bit more on the tech side of things and uh, focus more on that his is more about getting dirty and taking you out into the woods and that kind of thing so on the tech side of things, um, everything in my bus here is automated, not just the computer and, you know, computers and media systems and everything like that, but there is a whole lot going on in here. Um, everything's voice controlled from the microwave to the water, the faucets, the, you know, water system in here, the battery system. Um, I've security system on the outside. I've got um, immersion lighting in here. Um, Alexa, turn the lights to red. Alexa, turn the lights to cool white. Um, I mean, speakers all throughout the walls. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty into uh, making it as wild and just different as I possibly can. So that's been a big part of what I'm doing here. Um, Kind of just compiled a whole bunch of things over time that has gotten more and more ridiculous but and a concrete mixer concrete pump it is that's cool i was messing a little bit with uh construction simulator uh and learning how a lot of that kind of thing works um I could run a skid loader and do things like that in real life, but uh, not necessarily, you know, proficient with a concrete pump or anything along those lines, so that's kind of been a fun learning experience, too. Yay, finally a green light. This one was a long one. Is this our turn, or is it up at the night? This is our turn. Whoop. Okay, I do not have room to swing that out. Uh, this is a crappy, crappy intersection, and I have the red, but I'm blocking, so I'm tired of waiting, so we're going to go anyways. off of our destination still with that detour back there this is a little bit of a longer one but might mean that we get to see the sunset even if it looks like it might be behind us <laughs>
river over here. Nice. Doubles over there with their W900 day cab. That's cool. Caesar's hot and ready. Is it hot or is it ready? Who's to say? It's always one or the other. Never really seems to be both. You know, this is a busy intersection to not have a full red light. getting that cool sunset. That's what I wanted. Where are we? What is this now? I couldn't. I could only see county under my, my giant visors here. <laughs> oh. Sunsets are absolutely just crazy to me. Ah, so cool. And then the speed limit goes up and you're on the open road. Look at that. Ah, oh, my goodness. For reference, it's like 20 degrees outside right now, so this isn't something that I can just hang out outside and go see. Nope. I get that a lot. Well, why don't you just go drive truck if you play this all the time? Whoa, hey buddy! Hey buddy! Whoa! Failed pass over there. My goodness. But oh, why don't you just, you know, go drive truck? Honestly, I might. That is something that I might go do at some point, but for now, I just love the freedom uh, that this game allows me, and, oh, and the views. My goodness. I am a, I, I want to stop right here and take a picture, and I think I might just do that. Ah. what I'm gonna do. My goodness, look at that. That is just phenomenal. I will back up fake traffic all day. The guy in the Lotus behind me can wait. Let's get back in the driver's seat here. Hit my air brakes and then I'm gonna reach onto my passenger seat here and oh, there we go. One of the best parts of playing this game. I've always got her right next to me. Always my traveling companion. I got Mika in 2020. Uh, she is a Blue Merle Corgi. She is my very best friend and I wouldn't trade her for the world. Uh, 
Uh, he finally passed as soon as he got the chance. Alright. Well, despite the rain, we still got an incredible sunset here in the Freight Shaker Classic Freightliner. Flip those jakes back on. Keep that. Then turn left. difference in the speed limit at night here so that's something interesting Oop. Uh, here we go getting pretty close to our destination We're about 29 miles away. Drop these dump bodies off, and then we're gonna put an end to this first, first stream, first recording. Did all that just over a half a tank of fuel. A couple issues, mostly computer related along the way, a couple Oops, bugs that I need to work out, but it's my first one, so I'm gonna really work on not moving my head as much. solid chance that you may be seeing this uh, real life version of this truck at some point I keep uploading videos here I have every I, you know I don't necessarily need a bunch of uh, I'm not expecting a whole bunch of interaction I just want to uh, go straight on want to give things a shot and see if uh, I can't you know have kind of an archive of all the cool things and different things that I do in life. So, I think compared to the usual 9 to 5, I have a pretty interesting uh, home life, bus life setup, and uh, a lot of interesting hobbies that a lot of other people have that kind of hit all over the place. So. I had to put the windows down here. It seems like it finally stopped raining. Of course, once we're here, but I hear how this old B model cat sounds when windows are down. Can't get over this air shifter mod either on the Steam Workshop. Definitely adds another little touch of immersion to things. Really re recommend that if you haven't tried that one out and you played the game. So, might need to do like a shorter red light mod at some point because it's kind of ridiculous tonight. <laughs> Just catching every single one of them.
outside the truck there too. Oh, some Humvees over at the car dealership. Oh, coming in hot. <laughs> people behind me. I am turning. <laughs> Nobody's there. Alright. Let's see where we're going to drop this off. Ah, uh, it's good right there. How do I want to do this? If I can come around. Hmm. Might try to come around the building there. By that yellow truck. If I can make... That's a pretty tight turn. Oh, jeez. One thing I do love about this game, they, they do really intentionally make it difficult to park. Let's see, hopefully I don't get stuck behind here. That would be embarrassing for a first video. I swear I've got hours in this game. <laughs> That's much wider than it looked. Now I'm gonna come around this side. Because of course, why wouldn't they have a forklift block in there so you have to back in? Oh, 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 wow, we're fine. Oh, we are fine. Head up just a little bit further. Heck of a setup right there, I do say so myself. All right, three hundred and five miles, eighty four gallons. Looks like we made about Almost twenty-one thousand miles on that, or twenty-one thousand dollars on that. So, all right, Bozeman to Lewistown. So, let's see. That seems like it's uh, goodbye for me. So, thanks for coming along. <laughs> Mika and I say thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.